Hello, you guys. Good morning. I feel like this is turning into Vlogmas. Not for you. You guys are getting normal uploads. But for me, I vlogged Monday. I didn't vlog Tuesday, but I vlogged Wednesday. And now today is Thursday. So, hey, hi, you guys. One of the things on my to-do list today, guys, is to figure out merch. I actually need to edit the vlog that I filmed yesterday, but then I need to figure out merch. And I figured... I haven't talked to you guys about it. I, I was like waiting. So let me explain the situation. As you guys know, I was working on merch and I actually have several samples and things that I've been wearing that I love, but my merch was actually supposed to launch in April and then it kept getting pushed, it kept getting pushed, it kept getting pushed. And it was looking like it wasn't gonna launch until like June or July and there ended up being problems and things and like red flags and long story short, you guys will get like a full explanation because I filmed the whole entire process behind the scenes because I wanna come out with a video on my main channel. And in that video, you guys will get a full explanation of like why I made this decision. But as you guys know, I like shared that video of like I had to make a tough business decision. Yeah. The decision was that I ended up dropping my merch team and I need to find a new way to come out with merch. I need to find a new merch company or just like rethink my strategy. And it just kind of sucks. I want to do this right. Like to me, merch is not going to be a huge money maker. I know it's not with like the cost of coming out with paid products and like working with a team, like they have to get their cut, they have to get paid and then I get paid. Like this is not a money making thing for me. This is a passion project. Like this is something fun that I would absolutely love to create for you guys and like to also have myself. I just think it would be so much fun and I've had a lot of fun developing it up until this point, but I just want to make sure that the quality is there and like this will all make sense when I do a full video on it on my main channel one day when I do come out with merch, but I'm really, really paying attention to details here. I don't just wanna come out with something quick. I wanna come out with something that is quality that I am proud of and that you guys are going to absolutely love. So at the end of the day, that team couldn't give me what I needed and it just like wasn't the best fit, but it does suck because we were working together from January to May and now I feel like I'm back at square one. At least I know like what merch I wanna come out with now. Like I have my designs and all of that stuff. So I've got all of that like wasn't wasted time. It's just more so figuring out the manufacturing and distribution and all of that stuff. So that is on my to-do list today is to actually figure that out. I just kind of pushed it off for like a month. I was like, I don't even want to think about this because it just like feels like a hit, you know? And sometimes when you have something like that happen, like it's not like a failure or anything, but it's just like whenever you have a setback, that's the best word for it. I just like kind of like to regroup and be like, okay, what is, what is priority here? What are next steps? And yeah. So that's where I am. My management team has been helping me a lot through this whole process. They've actually been the best. So I'm very, very grateful for them. They have reached out to other companies that I would think about working with and we're looking into other alternatives and I just don't know. And then I've also thought about doing, uh, like coming out with like a soft launch for you guys, just so that you guys could get something quick because I've been talking about it for so long. Like this was supposed to launch in April. Let me, hold on, let me get this one curl done. You guys have seen me wear my hats. You've actually only seen one style hat. There were two styles that I was gonna come out with, but one of them is doing it for me. So as you guys know, I've got my tattoo for me and I wanted this to be a reminder for you guys, like do it for you, not for anyone else. And then I actually wore this out and someone was like, ooh, doing it for me. Like that's doing it for me. And I was like, oh, that's another way that you could put a spin on this, like so clever. But doing it for me, the back has my CM stitched in and this was actually printed wrong. <laughs> <laughs> whatever but I thought about like do I want to do a soft launch temporarily and just do like one release of finding a manufacturer in the area that can do this embroidery for me and I can literally just give them this design I found like a hat that I really really like like this is a good quality hat and get it done locally and then I could do all the shipping and stuff and just do like a one drop of like hey this is like limited edition, get your hats. And then I could like come out with my big merch and stuff in the future. And I don't know, to me, that's still an option. That's still something I might do. It's just like, I know I could find someone in the area. I would just have to find them. And then that's going to be a lot of upfront costs for me and a lot of work on my part too. But I don't like, to me, I think that would be worth it. I would think it would be a lot of fun to do that for you guys. But yeah. That's the update on merch if you have been asking me in like my Wednesday Q&As and stuff. I know I haven't 
talked about it because honestly I was waiting for them to respond to figure out what the fallout plan was going to be and then they just kind of ghosted us so I was like okay is is, is this the fallout plan because if it is I mean like I'm, I'm fine if we just like cut ties it's in the contract we can just cut ties but yeah business you know business 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 and just like that hair and makeup is done it is time to get to work the first thing i'm going to do is work on the vlog that i filmed yesterday i'm hoping that i can get that ad i'm hoping that i can get that edited in like an hour and a half to two hours it should not take me long i'm pretty fast with my vlog edits and then we're gonna get to merch stuff because that's like top priority today so i just want to get this out of the way first so then i can dive into the just whole of merch work that i've got to do wow Look at me go. Almost exactly two hours later, I just wrapped up this vlog. So we are going to export the master file here. Save. Now, the first thing I wanna do is my management team and I, we like talked about other merch options, other companies and stuff, but I wanna do a little bit of snooping, a little bit of digging because I've thought of other creators that have merch that I should try to figure out who their merch company is. There's like sneaky ways where you can figure things out, guys. Like take a look at terms and conditions, privacy policies, contact pages, all of that stuff. Especially at the bottom, sometimes in the footer, you can figure out which merch company people are using. So, wow, this gives me literally no information. None. See, sometimes it'd be like that too. You get nothing. You can't dig deep. Like you have to, Legally, you have to have a terms and conditions privacy policy. This creator has nothing on their site. That's a bit concerning in my opinion, but not my legal concern. It is 3.31 and I have been staring at my computer for far too long today. I definitely made some serious progress on the merch front. We've got some forward momentum compared to just like the past month of being completely stalled and not going anywhere. So made some progress. I ended up doing a lot of research, watched a lot of videos and was just like really in it. We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. I feel like I've got more of an action plan. I've got kind of some direction. I'm just like not, I'm not exactly sure. I'm still not sure. You know, I wanna do this right and I wanna come out with really good products and I just, <sighs> yeah. I'm very confused. Oh wait, what the actual fuck? Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. I have never had that happen before where a delivery driver didn't bring my stuff up to my house. Like they just left it on the curb, which like to me, someone could easily steal that. Like, thank goodness I was home. Cause otherwise that would look like garbage or it would look like it was free for other people to get. Like that was not, not cool the delivery driver. Although I understand why they did it because those things are like 67 pounds, but still, yeah, those things are heavy. Not as heavy as this dang couch, but those things are freaking heavy. And I honestly think this is like the last piece of heavy furniture I'll have to lift on my own, which is good because my body can't take it, you know? Just able independent woman over here. I can lift heavy things, but oh my gosh, I'm like sweating and hot and cause I'm panting, fancy's panting, huh? Sympathy pant? I know you're just curious, but this whole shot is just your butt. One of these pieces of wood. Oh, yes. Look at the color of that, guys. It's going to match, like, all the other wood that I have in my house. It's going to look so dang good. It's covered, by the way, this is, like, these breaking apart. This is just, I'm going to have an absolute mess up here. First thing we got to do, let's take a look at these instructions, see what we got going on. Step one. Let's get this thing fired up. I agree. Okay, so we gotta connect all the metal and then we're connecting all of the wood and then we're drilling it into the wall. Where are all 
the letters on these? What? How do you say like B, C, D when none of these are labeled? Oh, don't even tell me Catherine Elizabeth. The bags were labeled. These are not labeled. Uh, so let's see based off of pictures if we can get this done right. Where are those little pieces? I don't even have D's. <laughs> D's. We're about to have a serious problem. I am totally missing the whole like kit that comes with the screws and all of that as well as the D pieces that I need. It's not even in here. What the heck, Van? What the heck? I just don't even understand. Like there's nowhere that it could be. It's just it's not here. After opening the second one, I can confirm it was not supposed to look like this. This just like absolute destruction. No, 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 no. And guess what I found right on top of this one? The pack that I am missing for this one. So I'm gonna guess that this, it did have like damage on the ends. So I'm wondering if this just fell out. So I'm not exactly sure what to do. Cause I bought these on Amazon and like, I don't know if I can contact the company or like if I have to go through Amazon, but like I can't, I mean, I could take this one box that's still put together and bring it back if I had to bring it back, but it's like, all I need is this. All I need is this. Like the wood in that box is still good. Everything else is still good. I just need this pack. I just hit myself in the face. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't record the call, but I just got off the phone with Nathan James customer service and they were so sweet. Very, very nice to me. And yes, I'm missing a parts pack in one of the boxes. This is like a hot item. Like when I ordered this item, it said it wouldn't even get here for over a month. And then it ended up coming early, which is great. But she was like, these are so in demand. Like, let me see if I have one. So she has one. They're going to send it to me, which is great and awesome. Thank you, Nathan James. I appreciate you. I can't believe how destroyed that one box is compared to the other one. That's just madness, like seeing it. But now I can put one of these together. How much time do I got? I got an hour until I got to meet Cameron. So yeah, let's do it. Let's try to get one together. was probably not my brightest idea to do this right before dinner because I am sweating. It is hotter up here than it is on my lower level and putting that together and then lifting it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm sweating, but you guys ready to see the bookcase? There she is in all her glory. I still got to dust all of this crap off, but look how nice this matches the bookcase that I have downstairs. So perfect. So I'm gonna have two on both sides and it's gonna look like a full library wall. So this is gonna be filled with books, lots and lots of books. I gotta get new curtains to go here cause there were navy ones here before and you guys know how I feel about blue. Like that's not in my, light blue is in my color scheme, but like it, it's not, let's be honest. So I'm gonna get two black curtains to go here, bookcase on this side. This desk is leaving. <laughs> Here's the thing, I love that desk. I love it so much, but it just does not match my style anymore. And I'm keeping it for the sole purpose of like, I know I'm gonna have another house one day and then I can have it more so be that style. And like, I can have a spot where that is going to fit and it's going to match. But for what I'm doing with this house, that desk just does not work. And it's just not doing it for me. Plus it's just turned into my dumping ground 
for all of my extra crap and I need to get it out of here so that that does not happen. So I've got my couch. I'm gonna end up taking the legs off this couch. I didn't really think this through, but I also didn't know I was gonna get these bookcases. The wood, fake wood coloring of the legs on this couch obviously do not match this wood and this is the wood that I have everywhere in my house. So I'm gonna take those off and I'm gonna spray paint them black as I do. And then they're gonna look like my chairs that I have in my living room. So the pink and black is gonna look really good together. I still haven't decided. I kind of wanna put an area rug in here. I know that it's got carpet, but I just feel like it would be really cool to have like an area rug in here. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this side of things. Like I could have my desk over here. It just doesn't match, but like I could have a desk or I could have something over here. I'm just not, I'm not exactly sure. You know, I haven't really thought it through. Plus I just like have a printer on the floor. So I gotta put that printer somewhere else. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to undefined That's spicy I got a spicy margarita and that's spicy It's good but that's spicy <laughs> I shut down yet again another restaurant. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. We just love to talk and I swear I feel like I've known her in another life, you know? We were talking about when we first met and she was like, oh yeah, like a year ago. And I was like, girl, we met at the beginning of this year. Like we have not known each other for that long, but it feels like we've known each other forever. So it was such a good dinner, you guys. It was so good. You guys are keeping me company as I walk downtown Birmingham in the dark. It's not like my favorite thing in the world, but we got this and we've got 10 seconds to cross here. So I'm gonna run. We're good, we're good. Back to my baby Ben's. Okay, let's go home to Fancy Girl. long time for me to leave you. Yeah? Yeah, so? You gotta go outside? Yeah, okay. Okay, I need to use the restroom myself and I'm gonna take my makeup off, put on pajamas and go the heck to bed. Good night, guys. See you in another one. <laughs>